Anybody who knows Luc Besson knows he's a filmmaker of visual sense uh, par none, and he's really used that to the 1,000th degree in Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. This is based on the French graphic comic book series of uh, several decades ago called Valerian and Laureline. It has been adapted here for the screen finally, but you can definitely see the influence of Star Wars, and perhaps it was that series of comic books that influenced Star Wars in the first place. Now we are seeing it come to a full speed here in a movie that looks purely influenced by the world of George Lucas. Certainly Luc Besson was a fan of this from the time he was very, very young, and he's always wanted to bring it to the screen, and now he has done it in a movie that's uh, reputed to have cost upwards of $200 million. And one thing I can say for it, it's certainly all on the screen here. Dazzling visual effects, chases, battles, everything you can name, the costumes, the aliens, the characters. This is a spectacular looking movie. Even if you have a hard time following what the hell it's supposed to be about. Now it stars in the human form, Dane DeHaan, he's a kind of brooding actor, and I'm not sure I would have cast him in this role. He doesn't bring much to it, or he's a special operative, teamed with Sergeant Laureline, played by Cara Delevingne. They make a good pair, they sort of balance each other, even if DeHaan is a bit of a wet noodle in this movie. Easy. We're late. Yeah, well, better late than dead. You wanna drive? Well, put, put your hand back on the joystick. Laureline, put your hands back on the joystick. Orlene, will you please put your hand back on the joystick? Will you stop complaining about my driving? Yes, I'm sorry. You're a great driver. You're the best driver in the entire universe. Nevertheless, it doesn't matter. Everything that revolves around them is dazzling to watch in one way or another. You won't get bored, and it's all in 3D. Thousands and thousands of creatures and different people, humans, every kind of alien has converged to share their intelligence, their knowledge, their cultures all together. It is an ideal dream and it sets this movie off as perhaps the most diverse movie ever made. It is about diversity, a controversial topic in Hollywood that there isn't enough of. Believe me, there's an overload of diversity in Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. It's fun to watch. I had a lot of fun with the other characters here. There is a shape-shifting stripper named Bubble, played by Rihanna. That's right, Rihanna. There's so much more to this film. I really enjoy this trio of duck-billed uh, creatures. They are really brokers for all the information that everybody needs here on Alpha, and they do it for a price. They finish each other's sentences. They're actually hilarious to watch. We need to talk. Oh, it's dark in here. You're in trouble. Here. Look, you Ow. Sorry. If you don't help me find Valerian, then this bullet's gonna find you. <laughs> You're up first. No, 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 no. It's to avoid such situations. But all of our information is divided three ways. Kill one of us. And you kill the information. What a pity that would be. They're just one of many kind of crazy creatures that pop up in the vision of Luc Besson, the director of The Fifth Element, of Lucy, of The Professional. Here he's really brought his dream to the screen. It's a crazy dream. Maybe not for everybody. You'll certainly do well here to uh, be a little high when you see it. This could be a cult movie. But at $200 million or whatever it costs, it needs to be a successful one too. And I have a feeling it may be around the world. We'll see what happens to this movie, which comes from STX and is going against the big boys this summer. It certainly has all the visual style you could ever ask for in a movie. And for that reason, I say go.